I got the Dymo Label Rider 450 Turbo Printer to print labels. On top we have the start guide. Move that to the side. Let's open up the box. Alright, here's our printer. It's uh, covered in bubble wrap. Let's take that out of the box. There's some cables to the side here. Our power cables. Um, looks like we have some labels in this package here. Another box here. Let's open up the small box and see what's inside. Looks like a power adapter. And yes, that's what it is. It's a power adapter for the printer. One of the cables in the box was the printer cable to connect our printer to our PC. I'm going to take the twisty tie off this power cord, then plug the power cord into the adapter. Now I'm going to take the printer out of the bubble wrap, peel the end open here, and slide that right out of there. There's some plastic on the printer, so I'm just going to peel that off as well. It's very shiny. Actually need to open it up to get the plastic off of there. There looks like some test labels in there. Let's open up these packages of labels here. So we have two different size labels. Here's one roll of labels. Let's open up the other package of labels. Here's the other roll of labels. Now I'm going to plug in the printer cable to the back of the printer. Here's a better look. I'm going to plug that in. Next I'm going to plug in the power cable. On the other end of the printer cable is USB, so we'll plug that into the computer. Next I'm going to take the spool out of the printer, along with some cellophane. Then I'm going to take the spool apart. Now I'm going to put the labels on the spool in the direction of the arrow. Then I'm going to retach the other end. It adjusts to the size of the labels. Now I'm going to insert the spool back into the printer. It just slides into place. Now I'm going to push this button, get the test paper out of there. Let's pull that out of there. Now I'm going to pull these labels down. Insert them into the front here. And move this guide bar over. Close the top. And we're ready to print. I'm going to print out my first label here. Alright, there's our first label. Looks, looks like I might have to adjust it a little bit. After some adjustments, the labels are coming out just fine. It definitely takes a little bit of time to get the software to print the labels how you want to. I also don't like the fact that you're supposed to use Dynamo labels in this Dynamo printer instead of generic labels. But overall, it gets the job done. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a comment below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.